Hello, uh, welcome to the Zotium installation guide. This video series is just a complement of the written guide, so please check the link on the description. That will take you to Zotium Wiki, where you can see all the details from create a virtual machine to have been Zotium fully functional. I'll be using Oracle Linux 6.4, but you can follow the same steps for CentOS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6.4 as well. I don't have Red Hat so I can't test it, but from what I researched it should work fine. Uh, first let's create our virtual machine, start virtual box, and click the new button. Name your virtual machine however you like, I use OTM server OEL64 here. Make sure the type and version are correct. Click next, set the memory size to 4 GB, it should suffice. Click next. Choose the hard drive, uh, let's create a new hard drive, VTI. Uh, dynamically allocated. You can accept the default location or you can change it as I do it here. Change the directory name to whatever it works for you. My Windows is in Portuguese, so never mind the strange language, if you don't speak Portuguese, that is. When you are done, change the, the, the virtual disk drive to 80 gigabytes and click Create. Now, Right click your virtual machine and choose settings. We will have to adjust some things before we continue. On general, click advanced. Change shared clipboard to bidirectional. On system, click processor and choose about half of your cores. That's four in my case. On display, change uh, enable 3D acceleration and change video memory to 64 to, to increase things. On storage, uh, select the ISO image of your um, Oracle Linux um, installation media. On shared folders, now we'll create a folder that will be accessible inside the virtual machine. Uh, choose the folder path. In my case, file software OTM, that's where I keep my OTM setup files, change the folder name to host share and click OK. And that's about it. In the next step, we'll install Oracle Linux.